Hello, you beautiful people. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm going to be doing a vlog today. I just feel like it, my hair looks crazy. I actually curled it last night. Um, but I'm at work, so I've just shoved it. Shoved it up. Well, I'm at work. I'm working from home. You know what I mean? Ignore my, my makeup towel. That's when I'm rubbing my brushes off. <laughs> I'm rubbing that, that towel. Um, I'm literally just finishing off my lunch break, but I thought I'd just start my vlog whilst there's nobody in the house. Um just to say hello and stuff. I'm gonna try and vlog more often because one, it makes me more productive and I have not been productive for, I'd say like three weeks now. I've been struggling, I've been off on the sick from work um, and then I put some annual leave in and stuff as well because I've just been, I think I just hit burnout to be honest with you. Oh my eye, con my eye contact, my contact lens is going funny here. So yeah, I just thought I'd start my little vloggy vlog. Um, I've been doing a lot more TikToks recently, so I'd really appreciate if you could go follow me on TikTok. It's just my name, Luce Stevenson. But I've been absolutely loving it. I've just popped some skincare bits on as well because I've just not really been looking after my skin at all. So I've used my Benefit It's Potent Eye Cream, the Benefit Instant Comeback Facial Serum, the Ro um, La roche Pose SPF. I didn't even end up using this to be honest with you, I couldn't be asked going and washing my face, not going to lie. And then I got the Galan um, moisturiser, just because it's expensive as, I got it when I worked at Galan, so it's probably way out of date, but it still smells really nice, so I'm still going to use it. But yeah, I just never really use it, so I'm going to try and start using it for my skincare. And then I picked stuff last night in a TikTok, I, I picked that in a TikTok as well, but I also picked um, these in a little TikTok last night. And this is what I'm going to put on my face today. I'm going to try, to be honest with you, I was going to get up early to do all of this before work. So I looked cute and just felt good, even though I'm, I'm at home, <laughs> just to feel better. But I didn't go to sleep until after 3am. I just could not could not fall asleep. I was on bloody TikTok and then I just couldn't fall asleep anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to try and put some some makeup bits on afterwards as well. Maybe film a video or whatever. Just to give you a little update from me as well, because obviously it's been quite a while since we've spoke properly. Um, I've now finished my uni course. You'll have seen it anywhere if you follow me on the social media or even on the community tab on here. Um, I said that I completed my uni course. I actually got a distinction, which I didn't expect, so I got like top grade for it. Wasn't expecting that, especially after the year that I had doing that bloody uni course and going into lockdown and stuff as well. We're still in lockdown in England um, as of the time that I'm filming this. When you're seeing it, we'll still be in lockdown because it's not about opening non-essential stuff. Um, like non-essential shops and stuff until middle of April anyway. So yeah, we'll still be locked down by the time you're watching this video. So I'm still working from home. I think when non-essential shops open back up, I think that's when I'll be due to start going back into the office. But I don't think it's going to be all the time going in the office. I think it's going to be still a few days working from home, which I think that balance will be really, really nice. Cause I think that's what I've been missing, that kind of routine of actually getting up. Like I haven't brushed my teeth today. It's like, what, 25 past one, I haven't even brushed my teeth. And it's just daft stuff like that. Like you just lose your routine so much. And it sounds so gross, but I'm honestly not bothered. <laughs> I'm not bothered if you judge me for it because I know there's so many other people that are in the exact same position. So... And it's just, it's just normal to me, so it's just normal when I've spoke to people that people are just like losing their routine who have been working from home. I really wish I got furloughed, not going to lie. It wasn't something that I would have been able to do. Um, I think that's quite easy for me to say if, as somebody who's working from home that I wish I got furloughed because a lot of people that were on furlough probably wish that they could have worked. But I just feel like me working from home whilst most of the people have been on furlough in the house, it's just been hard to do everything and to do all my uni stuff and everything alongside it but I'm gonna get going because I've got five minutes until my next client so I'm gonna prep and get myself get myself sorted and ready for it. Hello it's Tuesday now <laughs> it's like two o'clock on Tuesday and I'm literally just sat like I've just done an assessment um, and I'm just gonna do my notes but I've just had a little partial I'm just gonna take these out because I'm not, that's just when I'm ringing people. And I basically, I got a phone case from this brand called Wraps with a Z on the end. Never ever heard of them before. Never seen anybody use them or anything. But um, I'm, I've got a phone contract with Vodafone and they had like an offer on where you got like 50% off the phone cases. And I've had this phone case on my 
um, iPhone 12 Pro Max since I bought it in back end of December. It came like my birthday, so I'm about the 20th of December and it came quicker than what I thought it was going to be. It was meant to come, I think I ordered it on the Friday night and it was meant to come on the Monday but it came on the Saturday so I didn't have a phone case for it. So I just got this little sparkly one off Amazon for under a tenner, I wouldn't pay more than a tenner for it because obviously it came with Amazon Prime so it came really quick. And I've just never replaced it. I've had it like for three months now and I've never really seen, to be honest with you, I was waiting for the Hercules one, the Pegasus one from Skinny Dip to come back in stock and it just hasn't yet. Um, they've started doing it in this size form but the, it just hasn't been restocked. So you can do a personalised one and I got it so it's personalised like my YouTube. It's a little bit more um, dull than what I expected. But I don't mind it, I still don't mind, I still don't mind at all. And I, I didn't realise it to have this little black border here. So that makes me think now, I think I'm going to get a black pop socket. But let's see if it actually fits. The quality seems really, really good, you know. Really impressed with the quality, I'm just hoping it doesn't make my phone too chunky. Oh my god, I thought it was going to break it then. Ah, uh, it looks cute. Oh, it's not in this side. There we go. Okay, it does feel a bit chunkier than because obviously it's a hard case. You could get it any kind of, you can get it matte, you can get it glossy, you can get hard case, you can get a soft case. They had like pre done like ones where you just add your own picture and it makes it look dead pretty and it's got like a little style and stuff to it. But I just got this one because I thought, well, it's my little YouTube branding. And then if I'm ever using my phone and videos, I can just be like, hey, hey YouTube branding. So yeah, that cost me um, £9 something and then postage on top as well so quite impressed with that thank you for the 50% uh, off code Vodafone thank you very much look how cute it is so I'm actually on the late today I'm on the late on Wednesdays so I had um, a back to work meeting with my boss this morning because I'm officially well I came back to work yesterday but obviously she put me in for my meeting today so I had that with her so that's all sound and I won't finish until I uh, don't finish till 8 on Wednesdays so it's going to be a bit of a late, later one today and I need to ring all my clients and stuff and get people booked back in because obviously I've been off for a, a little bit as well so yeah I've just been kind of just kind of doing work this morning nothing too exciting I don't think I've got any parcels due to be honest I've just done, I've just done another order on Doll Beauty so yesterday they had 50% off the lip products so I ordered the one red lipstick that I'm missing and then today they had 60% off the eyelashes so I've just ordered six pairs of lashes and Amber got four and yesterday we split split it and split postage and then today we've split it and split postage as well which makes such a big difference because Amber literally lives down the road for me so I can just drop it off on the doorstep for her um, she actually dropped me off a P. Louise base yesterday um, and I gave her two pigments, a Gatsby one and a Mermaid's one because we're going to be doing a live on Thursday. By the time you see this it'll, it'll have already been, no Friday sorry now. Um, so yeah I got this blue one because I was missing it from my collection so we just did a little switcheroo and she also dropped me off some cookies on my doorstep as well. So I've got them next to me ready for when work starts to be really, really tiring because I've still got three more appointments left of the day and obviously need to ring people and book people in and do all my admin and stuff as well so yeah speak oh somebody just came home to speak this tomorrow hello i'm back looking all sexy and shit <laughs> um as you can clearly tell by my beautiful hairdo and how i'm looking um i've just finished work again it's thursday now is it thursday yes yeah, thursday <laughs> um this is now my third day of the week because I have Mondays off and my god it is hitting me that I am back at work just drained <laughs> so I've just opened up some Lucasade pink lemonade zero sugar just to hopefully give me some energy I'm gonna put my work laptop away because I didn't do that yesterday with me being on a late so I'm gonna put it away so that it's kind of out of sight out of mind until tomorrow morning on the plus side Tomorrow's video is a foundation Friday but being Fridays um, and I've already pre-filmed it. I filmed it last week. I have no other videos pre-filmed but I just had that one pre-filmed because Megan asked for it from my Patreon group so Megan asks, Megan receives, 
Megan receives. Um, and she also picked the lip combo, like the lip, the lipstick that I wore as well. She doesn't even know it yet because she didn't know that was the video that I was filming when I asked my Patreon group for what lipstick. And a lot of people said dark, but Megan was the one that actually said Mac Oil. And I was like, okay, Megan asks, Megan receives. So I don't really know what to do with myself, to be honest. Um, Stacey Marie's course was today. I've been doing that for weeks and weeks now. I've been posting on TikTok a lot more recently, like this past week. And I found that it's like, it's helped a little bit. Like my, my TikTok's grew a little bit. So I'm doing like a little challenge with my patrons where we upload three videos a day on TikTok and then we're all going to see what our numbers were before and our numbers were like are afterwards as well to see if it made us grow or um, anything like that. Our views have gone up and stuff just to see if it, if it helps doing three a day. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. So I've already put up one today which was a little shop my stash uh, makeup thing. So I think and what I might do... Um... I think I might do like a little singing one now and then I might do like another unboxing haul a bit later. I think I'll sort that out now. For my TikTok is just Lou Stevenson if you want to go follow me and I'll speak to you soon. Hi. Um, I don't remember the last time I even spoke to you so I'm guessing it was sometime last week but obviously it was literally a second ago for you. Um, haven't uploaded for quite a while because my my nana passed away. Um, she had um, cancer. It was really aggressive. Um, a really really rare, rare type of cancer. She'd been poorly for quite a bit. Doctors just thought it was chest infection. She'd had it for about God six seven weeks. And then she went back to the to the doctors and they said, look, like your oxygen levels aren't right. I need to go to the hospital and just get checked out. Um, and she went to the hospital and 18 days later, she passed away. So, <clears throat> I don't know, I don't, I don't even know when I'm putting this video up. I don't even think I'm in focus. Am I even in focus? I think I am now. Um, yeah, I the day that I'm filming this is... What day is it today? I think it's the 29th, yeah. It is nearly 9 o'clock on Monday the 29th of March and she passed away Tuesday last week. So I wasn't even, I, um, I wasn't even at home, like where I live with Blake and his mum and dad. Um, I went and moved, to, well, stayed with my mum from, weirdly, I stayed from the Tuesday night, not knowing that was the day that she was going to pass. Um, I took all my stuff for Tuesday during the day to plan staying with my mum for however long it was that I needed to be there for. Um, so yeah, I didn't come home until Sunday, no, Saturday I didn't come home. Um, did like two, well I did a Covid test before I went to see my nanny room. Um, on the Tuesday, I did a COVID test, um, and then, and then I did a COVID test before I came home to Blake's house um, as well, because obviously, well, to be fair, my mum's a portable anyway, so I can go to my mum's house because um, I'm in a support bubble because she was alone with my sister. But obviously, I just wanted to make sure before I came home that. Blake's taking his dinner, mini eggs are open. Um, he's getting ready to watch The Walking Dead because it's like literally five to nine. I'm under, so that's what he watches. Um, so yeah, I don't even know. I don't even think it has processed in my head or even like... I don't think I don't think I've I don't think it's it's gone through my head yet that it's happened. How it did happen was very very beautiful in such a weird such a weird way. Me and my cousin have talked about this. Me and my cousin Caitlin like it's such a weird way to describe somebody passing away, but it was it was a beautiful passing. She wasn't in pain. Um, she went peacefully, and the whole family were there when she passed as well. So. I was there so it was it was nice to be there with her for a last moment 
Um, and you know, God, I'm going to that, get off there. In her last breath, she shouted for her partner, and her partner actually passed um, passed away two years ago on April the 8th. And we got the date for my nana's funeral, and her funeral is going to be on April the 7th, so a day before um, her partner Arthur's memorial. Is that, is that what you say? Memorial? Anyways. Um, anniversary of him passing, whatever you want to, I don't know the word, just for it, my head's all over the shop. So, yeah, that's, that, that happened, like, I still can't, uh, I just want to say, if you have one of my Patreons, thank you for being so understanding with this, obviously I know it's like, it's not, it's not like I haven't been active on my Patreon because of, I've just been, like, loving life. I wasn't even home, like I was at my mum's house from Tuesday to, to Saturday. Yeah, just thank you for just being so understanding um, and so patient with me. It's only really been, I think, was it yesterday? It was only really yesterday that I started being able to reply to people's messages properly, like group messages. I was replying every now and again to a couple of like single messages off people, but most of the time, and I still feel it a little bit, now to be honest um i feel very kind of when i look at messages and get messages i don't want to talk to anybody i don't want to respond to anybody i don't want to type things out i just don't want to be on my phone which isn't like me <laughs> if you know me that's not like me at all normally i'm attached to my phone so i know there's been a couple of brands that have contacted me um glossy box sent me their little easter egg as well I thought it was really sweet, but obviously I haven't even had a chance to actually do a video, film a video. I mean, this came when I wasn't even home. This came when I was still at my mum's house. My best friend sent me some flowers. You can see them in the background. Lara sent me some flowers. Um, I don't know if you can actually see the card. I don't think you can. And a little card as well. Like, I don't even know how else, how else to explain it. I don't even know how to, like, I feel weird talking about it on camera. I'm not going to lie. I feel weird but I just also feel a lot of guilt that I haven't been filming and upload I, I, well I do feel guilt but then I also don't because I just think like it's not like I'm just taking time off for the crack <laughs> do you know what I mean I'm gonna leave it at this because I don't know I feel a bit funny about talking about it on camera I might cut I've been talking for like 15 minutes so I might cut some bits out I don't know I'll see I'll see but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'm just going to leave it at this.